Hey yo, what's good y'all? It's your boy T-Ruff, aka T-Sticks, and thank you for watching this video. Um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're returning, I appreciate y'all for coming back. So, again, it has been a while, I do apologize, but to get more so into the update of where I'm currently um, at at this stage in life and my future journey. So, I did 10 years in the Marine Corps, and I got out September 1 of 2021. I have been a civilian for, ooh, I think just shy of a year, like a week shy of a year. Um, not even a week, actually a couple days shy of a year. I went back to MEPS on August 28th. Well, I left Georgia on August 28th. Um, which ironically is the same exact day that I left for the Marine Corps, August 28th, 2011, to join the Marines. I went to MEPS on the following day, the 29th. And same for this year. I left Augusta, Georgia, same city. August 28th, 2022, went to MEPS on August 29th, 2022. And I am currently sitting in Virginia Beach, Virginia, um, fortunately for me, I do not have to do Army basic training. Did you catch it? I did not have to do Army basic training. I was able to come straight to AIT here at the Army School of Music. Mm. So that journey, yes, it has been a journey. Um, it's been a little nerve wracking journey, but totally worth it i literally still can't believe i'm here i've been here for when did i get here did i get here tuesday i did get Ooh, i got here on tuesday yeah i've been here for five days and i still can't believe i'm here this is so shocking um went in toward the school freaking i love it dude i love it um so the Marines, the Navy, and the Army have their school of music here. Um, and super excited to start school here next week. Is it next week? Yeah, today's Sunday. Yeah, so I start school next week, which will be August. Yeah, I'm tripping. Which will be September 12th. So till then, I have nothing but time to edit videos. <laughs> Record videos, edit videos again, um, and post. So hopefully I can speed you all up and get you to where I am. Um, back to the process. So I believe it was back in May. Um, nope, I'll go back even further than that. So last year I reached out to an army um, band liaison via the website, I think right before I even got out of the Marine Corps, just kind of start getting information in regards to joining the army band. But it wasn't until I think late last year, November, December, the old band liaison for the Southeast region reached out to me, um, got a couple uh, information, a little bit of information from me and I think that was it for a while. But back in early May of this year, 22, um, the current band liaison reached out to me trying to see where I was, headspace, if I was still trying to go for the army band. And of course, I'm like, yes. So first things first, I had to submit a um, prereq um, video. So just demonstrating my abilities my skills on the drum set and on the bells um concert march and snare and after that depending on whether you're worth entertaining or not they will send you to MEPS so I went to MEPS um came back yep so they send you to MEPS to see if you're physically mentally um qualified uh nothing's wrong with you and after that, they set up the live audition. So it'll be in-person, live audition. They'll come to you. So you pick the place, you pick the venue, um, you pick pretty much the date out of a range of dates that they give you. For me, I had to wait 
a month, I think a month and a week, a month and two weeks, a month and a half, I guess, um, before I was able to do my audition. Of course, my recruiter uh, with joining the band is not something that recruiters do often, and some of them may have never done it. So it is going to be a process with them trying to get everything straight. So please be patient with them um, because I was able to retain my rank. Um, some people lose their rank going from one branch to another. So again, just be patient. Um, it is a learning curve for both you as well as the recruiter. Um, but luckily, my recruiter with the Army was a lot better than my last recruiter I had with the Marine Corps. Horrible, horrible, horrible experience. One of the reasons why I said I would never be a Marine Corps recruiter. And they sent me to recruiter school and I said, nope. But anyway, back to um, the process for the Army Band. Be patient because if you're not patient, then you'll probably get discouraged, unmotivated, and you'll probably lose out on something that could be so great and beneficial and rewarding to your future um, as a military band musician, um, regardless of which branch it is. Um, doesn't matter, just be patient. So my recruiter, it was getting everything done. Um, also, be very organized with all your paper, uh, wow, paper, your paperwork and documents. I'm trying to combine the words here. Um, be very organized, have everything readily available. Should the recruiter ask for it, you are not scrambling, trying to find things um, or get things done. Just stay on top of everything and be ready when they ask. Um, and I'll tell you why that's really important. So going back to the live audition, um, the band liaison came down from, or I guess drove over from Alabama to Georgia, met with me um, one evening. We knocked out my audition. And of course they don't give you the results the same day. They have to take the results back, submit them. Uh, they'll have the board, which the board for me didn't convene until um, August. And my audition was in July. So I did have to wait a couple weeks uh, just to get my results back. And then next thing you know, August flew by and I got a text, hey, congratulations, followed by an immediate phone call. Um, hey, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. You were one or two selected. And I'm just like, what? Like, this is insane. This is really insane. I can't believe this right now. So the next step was to go back to MEPS, um, to lock in my contract, sign my contract, to guarantee my um, position as a musician in the Army's band. So went back to MEPS, I think the following week after I received that phone call. And as I'm sitting there at MEPS, literally the only thing I had to do was sign my contract. And that was it. So I get there. And we're going through everything on the computer. I'm verifying all the information is correct. Um, signing the contract. Congratulations, you're now in the Army Delayed Entry Program. But here's the kicker. We know we told you that you'll be leaving in January because your school date doesn't begin until January 9th, I believe. But you're now going to be leaving in 12 days. I was like, excuse me, 12 days, wow. Like, don't get me wrong, super, super excited. But at the same time, I was like, oh man, my daughter, she is three and I have a close bond. So I'm thinking of this, I'm thinking of my students at Guitar Center um, because the youngest I've taught at Guitar Center was age three. And the oldest was a retiree um, who just wanted something to beat on, had some frustration. So everything within that bracket, that huge bracket um, age range, I've had a close connection with because they're all one-on-one -on -one lessons, even built connections with the parents. So there were some dads that had tears in their eyes when I told them that, hey, 
I won't be here for much longer. Um, so it was definitely a bittersweet moment leaving Guitar Center. Um, I hate that it was so suddenly, but hopefully I can get back and influence those guys and those gals to keep achieving their goals, their dreams, um, keep pushing, stay motivated, and you never know um, when you'll be called up and you know, never know when your moment to shine is. So keep working, stay motivated, stay positive, um, and stay ready because, again, you never know. Um, 12 days really felt like I'd say a week and I say that because I still worked um, for a week and a half of that um, Guitar Center, Amazon, still doing church and the second week I did one day at Amazon, did both days at um, Guitar Center so Monday, Tuesday was at um, Guitar Center, Wednesday worked at Amazon that was my last day working Thursday, Friday Saturday. Thursday, I was doing some required classes um, for the recruiter to join the Army. Um, it was like land navigation, financial management, uh, Army, core values, uh, and a couple of the classes. I think there were about nine different lessons overall that I had to complete um, prior to shipping out. And then, was it Friday? Had my family come over. My sisters came through and helped me, assist me with packing up my apartment, uh, put some stuff in storage. Um, so definitely appreciative of that. Um, and then third, not Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Yeah, the rest of Friday night, I was moving stuff. And then, of course, my Amazon crew with some of my close associates, uh, they wanted to take me out. So we went out to Buffalo Wild Wings, had us a good time. Um, Saturday, full day, nothing but um, packing and moving things into storage, followed by Sunday, two church services, and then went back to the apartment, grabbed a couple more things, put them in storage, and then I was on my way to South Carolina, Columbia, back to MEPS, uh, which again was September 28th, or ugh, August 28th which was the same day that I left for Marine Corps boot camp. So after that, got to Columbia, checked in, ate at the hotel, which the food is pretty good at the hotel. Um, stayed at the Marriott and I think Courtyard Marriott on the campus of University of South Carolina. It's been the same hotel since forever ago. I stayed at that hotel um, three times this year. And I stayed there two or three times in 2011 when I left for the Marines. So same hotel, same scenery, both in August. Um, so everyone was moving back into college. So don't get in trouble um, trying to get in those parties and stuff and missing curfew because some people do that. And just be smart. Um, just be smart. Um, After MEPS. So being that I'm in prior service and MOST in the Army, uh, MOS trainee, I am afforded a few more privileges than your um, AIT, uh, I think it's EIT or I, IET, EIT. I forgot what the acronym even stands for, but it's one of those acronyms um, that represents a soldier who's just leaving um, basic military training um, and coming to their AIT school. So for me, I'm able to operate a POV, but not during the duty day. Um, but I was able to drive to MEPS as well as driving here to the Army School of Music. So definitely fortunate to um, have that afforded to me. Otherwise, the other choice would have been to fly, and that would have been no fun, trying to fly, get an Uber, so forth and so on. But, here I am, Virginia Beach, um, in August, in September. I would much rather be here now than in January, <laughs> for sure. So, it all works out, it all works out. I do know where I'm going, but I'm not going to say yet. I'm going to say that for another video. 
Um, because I'm going to be asking for questions. Um, or I guess I'll be asking questions and asking for answers in that video. So in the next video, I will reveal where I was told that my first assignment will be. And of course that's tentative, but for the most part, that's where I'll be going. And I'll be asking questions, so I will definitely need answers from some of you all. Hopefully you're able to provide some type of assistance because I have questions about where I'm going. Um, that said, thank you all for watching this video. It's your boy T Rough, aka T Sticks, and y'all stay hydrated, um, stay motivated, and stay ready because again, you never know when it will be your time to shine. So till next time, drum on.